Hello everyone, it's been a while since I recorded a video, so I thought I'd do one on some of the nutritional strategies that athletes use to try and improve their performance. Now, one of them is the use of carbohydrate gels. Now, essentially what this is, is it's pure carbohydrates in a concentrated form, um, basically a gel, and the idea is that you eat it um, and you get a massive intake of um, carbohydrates. What you need to do, however, is you need to consume it with water. So if you don't, then you actually really slow down the, the release of the um, glucose into your muscles and it makes it much harder for it to digest. So for benefits, it needs to be consumed with water. Um, and, and the whole reason that people do it is, is they can actually get in a lot of carbohydrates very quickly um, and they can do it easily while they um, obviously are riding or so on. Um, if you had to carry the equivalent in... Um, something like a Gatorade, then you'd have to carry a lot of them. Um, so obviously it's an advantage for people like people in the Tour de France uh, or so on where they they can carry these small little gels, quickly eat it, get a massive um, instant um, boost of energy because they are high GI. Um, and, you know, obviously be able to, to exercise for extended periods of time. It is useful um, in sports that have a high duration of greater than an hour and it is absolutely beneficial, I mean, sorry, detrimental that you have to consume it with water. Without water, it's going to really impact on the speed at, at which it's um, consumed and, and readily absorbed in the body. If your goal, however, is to remain hydrated, so by keeping your fluid levels high because you're exercising in a humid environment, you're sweating lots, a power gel isn't going to be all that useful um, because you're going to be losing fluids and this isn't going to be readily absorbed all that quickly so you need to get water in without the power gel but definitely for extended duration um, and where you need lots of energy and you, you risk running out of your glycogen stores um, something like this is really good alternatively um, you see that athletes do use protein bars now these are designed as a quick snack to have after a workout before a workout to put the body into an, an anabolic state um, when it comes to development of protein muscles and so on and to help you repair. Um, they are designed to be just quick and easy um, to ingest. However, there is nothing better than having it in a proper um, meal form as that is, you know, it contains lots of other micronutrients that can be used um, by the body as well. So a good alternative for athletes, um, elite athletes I should say, after act activity to speed up their recovery um, but then again, nothing is better than a proper meal that has high protein, um, you know, that is a natural meal, basically. Um, these are an alternative. So there are a couple of different nutritional strategies that you may hear of and see in action. Hopefully now you've got a bit of an understanding of them.